All right, quick video about the OBD2 sensor, Bluetooth variety, and the apps you can use on an Android phone for that. So I'm looking at a 2015 Volkswagen Jetta. Here's the uh, dongle itself. Here's, I bought this one off of eBay. Or no, actually, I got this one off of uh, Amazon. Um, about 14, 15 bucks. They may sell cheaper ones, more expensive ones. If you have a... Uh, iPhone, you're going to need one that's specially made for the iOS. Otherwise, this one works for Windows devices and Android devices. Um, so I've changed some items in my car uh, through a app called Carista. Um, changes a couple of things. I'll show you when you start it up. The uh, gauges are going to sweep to the top and then bounce back down, kind of like a Golf R has. That's one of the options you could change. I'll um, show you what the app looks like. We've got the Carista app. I'll turn that sideways so you can see that. Um, so I'll get that. Basically, you hit the if you have the paid app, which I do. Um, well, actually, you can look at these items without the paid app. But you can't actually change them unless you pay the twenty dollars to make the app work. So basically, right now it is using the Bluetooth to connect to the Bluetooth dongle that's plugged into the OBD2 port to read the. Uh, sensors on the engine and read the ECU and talk to it. Um, I've already paired the OBD2 sensor to my phone. It's just a basic, if you've ever used any Bluetooth device, you basically go to your Bluetooth settings and scan for it and it'll show up. My particular device wanted a password. The, the password that worked for mine was 1234. Uh, usually if you're going to need to connect a Bluetooth device to a phone and ask for a password the very first time, it's either usually going to be 0000 or 1234, otherwise look on the uh, website for the manufacturer and they'll usually give that to you, or it won't ask for a password at all. So basically, it's connected to the car now, so we've got a set of menus, uh, doors, windows, instruments, display, dings, lights, others, so you hit one of these and you get a bunch of options for what you can change. I'll kind of scroll through these quickly, and you can pause the video if you want to see what it actually does. Uh, let's go to lights. Alright, other. Others are real short. Just that list. Okay, so that's the Carista app. That's cool. You can actually, when you're done, it'll email you uh, 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 what, your, what your settings are, which is really helpful. Okay, I also have a GPS uh, sensor up here, which is an external GPS sensor with 10 hertz. Basically, it takes a uh, gives a the signal every every what does it do? It gives a every second it gives 10, 10 slices. So you get an update uh, ten times a second. Um, making that really complicated, but that's basically what it is. Um, I'll show you how that works. Uh, I have to turn it on first by clicking and holding the button down here. Okay, we've turned it on. Now I'm going to go to an app called Race Chrono. Reason being is it's an app that I can use to tell me that my GPS sensor is indeed paired with the phone and working correctly. Sometimes other apps, it's not easy to tell. All right, we're connecting to the GPS right now, it says. Oh, yeah, I have to press turn it on again. <clears throat> I think it was already on when I pressed on last time. Okay. Now it's connecting in. So let's take a look and see. All right, so here's my GPS settings. And yeah, it looks like it's it's working fine. You can see it says Bluetooth Garmin Glow up here. So, and we've got 11 satellites fixed on and we're waiting for a fixed type. Fixed type two is usually when it's really locked in. I think that means it's locked into both American and Russian satellites. The Garmin Glow is one of the very few Bluetooth devices that actually are GPS Bluetooth devices that can uh, look at both Russian and American satellites so you get more options than some of the other ones. Um, you can see right now it's running at actual speed of 8.59, 8.5 hertz. These devices actually won't really get to 10 hertz most of the time. Usually, usually it'll run to slightly less, but it's still a lot quicker than the internal GPS on the phone, which is something like 2 to 3 hertz. So. Let's go back out of this, and we'll take a look at the Torque app, which also has the ability to connect to a GPS Bluetooth. Yes, see, it's already connected in. 
So we'll take a look at the sensors. And you can see right now there's no data because it's connecting to the car still. Oh, you know what it is, is I have to actually clear my phone because if I go into the Carista app, it's still, t it's still talking to the Carista app. So I have to make sure that I turn that off. All right, so how do I do that when the phone is sideways? Close all of those, and then we'll go back and whoop, not race chrono. We don't want that. And we'll try this again. Okay. So what you'll see up here is actually a little car icon show up when it's actually trying to talk to the car, and you'll see that's blue, blue and blinking right now. When it goes solid, when all these go solid like it is right now, it means it's totally connected, and you'll see the RPMs just clicked in. So let's take a look at that. All right, now it's connected. You can see I've been idling here for a bunch of time. My, my coolant's really hot, 210 degrees. I mean, not really hot, but pretty much as hot as the car will allow it to get. Um, we've got a vacuum boost gauge down here, which is really nice because the car doesn't come with one. Um, it can actually, you can customize these gauges to, to read whatever the ECU sees. So you can look at intake temperatures, coolant temperatures, uh, boost, vacuum, throttle position, speed, revs, acceleration. Oh yeah, it has an accelerometer in here, but you gotta remember to zero it out if you're gonna use it. So we gotta calibrate that. Make sure that, because the phone is orientated in different positions, it'll look, screw that thing up. I don't put too much stock in the accelerometers, especially on this older phone, which is an S3. It uh, probably isn't nearly as good as the newer phones. So it's one of the things I wish the external Bluetooth uh, GPS sensor had in it would be an accelerometer as well. That'd be really helpful, but they don't. Uh, so that's we're just kind of stuck with that. Um, if I had a camera holder, I'd put the camera up and start driving. But since I'm holding the camera in my hand, I'm probably not a good idea to drive with it. Um, so yeah, that's that's some of the things you can do with the Bluetooth dongle and your, I guess, Volkswagen, Audi, BMW, a lot of cars use this sort of connection. Oh, OBD2, you can pretty much use Torque with any of those. Uh, it's the Carista app that, I guess, let me look at it again. You can use it with BMWs, Minis, Volkswagens, Audis, Toyotas, and Lexuses. I think you can use it other cars, but those are the ones that it definitely will work with. Alright guys, take it easy.